Hey everyone, this is Dan. I wanted to show you my perpetual motion machine, why I thought it would work, and why it really doesn't work. So the concept of this is really just a wheel that is going to be um, sort of off balance and always heavier on one end than on the other. The, the mechanism for this is really this weight right here that spins around. It's going to move back and forth depending on where the, the main wheel is in its rotation. So over here, the weight is, is actually towards the, the axis of the wheel. Um, notice it's not way out here or way over here. And then as it comes on this side, it will be towards the outer part of the wheel. Now, I thought that it would be um, heavier when it's out here on the on the outside of the wheel and pull down and when it comes over here I knew that if the weight was over here it would create enough torque on this wheel that it would keep the the entire thing from continuing to spin so I thought hey maybe if I make this weight rotate and actually come towards the, the center of this wheel, it would have less torque and it would allow the wheel to, to continue to spin with the torque created um, when the weight is on the, the really outside edge during that part of the rotation. So anyway, I built this um, with four uh, arms on it so I could have, you know, four wheels and mechanisms but it turns out that I really only needed one to prove this concept um, as false and I, I did originally create um, you know enough wheels and everything to have um, you know two going at the same time and I really noticed that basically when I had the two wheels that I could move or I didn't even have this um, in there and I had a clip that I could, you know, put weight wherever I needed to. And I could move that clip anywhere along here, and it did not matter where I put it. It would not produce any torque or, um, you know, movement um, based on the position of that. So it always seemed like the weight was sitting right on the, the axis of this wheel. Didn't matter where it was along this entire um, um, length of the, the wheel. So that was kind of interesting. And um, that's really kind of the reason why this doesn't work. Um, the, the weight, even though it's there, really is um, affects this main wheel only at this point. And the, even though it's out here, the torque that it creates on this wheel and, and you know, the counter torques and all that um, really kind of counteract the fact that it's out here and it moves it back in axis with the, the, the wheel there. So anyway, um, I made it just with one wheel to, to show how simple um, the design was. Uh, these are just some nuts here that I have to balance it out. And it's not completely balanced, but it's, um, it's fairly free moving. I've got bearings everywhere. So even when I give it a good spin and, and get it to go pretty fast, um, it will eventually slow down and stop. There's really no um, reason why it should keep going. Um, but uh, I did want to make sure that you know the, the outer wheel stayed um, basically level with the ground the entire rotation. That would keep any type of um, rising or falling from happening. Um, you know, I I see that as you know a, a big reason why some of the other um, eccentric wheels didn't work. So anyway, I was. A little disappointed, um, you know, that the uh, the torques were not what I thought they would be, but it was still kind of a fun project. Um, I learned a little bit, had fun printing these large wheels, 
on my printer and uh, um, so it was a, a nice little diversion project for me um, there's really not much to it um, this right here has two bearings um, there's some bearings in here that the um, that the gear rides on and the outer gear over here is basically bolted directly to the the frame so it doesn't move um, and the fact that these um, these two large wheels are the same diameter makes um, makes it stay level the entire rotation uh, it really didn't matter what size this gear was going to be um, could be anything so um, really there's only about four printed parts on this thing this wheel is different from that wheel and obviously that one's different um, and uh, these guys are all the same I did kind of clip that guy up a little bit to get him um, you know to, to mount to the frame but uh, that's about it um, hope you learned something same as I did one of the other interesting things about this is that the plane that that weight rotates on is actually a little bit different plane than the the rest of the frame is spinning on it's kind of tilted out just a little bit but uh, that is my perpetual motion machine and hopefully I've explained why it doesn't work